and welcome into getting help from Uncle Sam. Well, it's been a few weeks and the legislative session is in session and everything is booming for the year 2017. And to get a peek at the what's happening, we brought in Representative Mike Holmes. And Mike, you're representing most of Elmore County and a lot Correct. of Otago County here in District. Some of Elmore County, it, just, it, just actually one precinct. That's right, in Elmore, and you're predominantly Elmore. Elmore, and, that's yeah, right, and, and just a little one bit precinct of precinct in uh, Otago, right. Okay. So basically, what are some of the priorities that you guys are looking at in, in this session? Well, some court actions have, have kind of changed our priorities actually coming okay. in, Jack. Uh, we had a, a list of priorities that we'd worked on in our caucus, but uh, we uh, the court ruled that the um, Redistricting was done based on the 2010 census was uh, not fair. They didn't call it unconstitutional, just not okay. fair. And they, and, they, and they ordered that we go back and renegotiate with the aggrieved party. And uh, so that's going to have to happen. That's uh, The committees have been appointed and they're underway and they're starting to have their first meetings and they'll mm -hmm. have to go back and look. And the only thing they have to use is a 2010 census. We're still a couple of three years away from a new census. But we need to go ahead and get this done before the 2018 election. So that priority that's, that's rises right to the, the top. Corner. Yeah, that's right that's around right. the corner. So it, we, that rises to the top, so that becomes a priority, along with the two budgets. We're always really our only mandate that we have in the legislature. We have to pass the budgets out, and mm -hmm. so they will be obviously top priority as well, along with all the normal problems in the in the in the general fund budget, which uh, really has it's, has no growth revenues coming in there. So there's really no growth in the growth in the revenue stream. So that's a, that's a big challenge. Tell our viewers, I mean, you talk about the fund. What are the sources that bring money into the fund? Well, the two main sources are uh, corporate and personal income tax okay. and then sales tax. Mm -hmm. And there's about a 66, 67 percent sales tax and 33 percent roughly of income taxes. The general funding, funding both those uh, mm -hmm. the education trust fund and the general fund budget. So as the economy grows, this does help the budget overall. It, it does, but uh, most of those revenues are earmarked for the education trust fund. So okay. uh, everything okay. that's earmarked for the for the general fund is pretty much stagnant. It's mm -hmm. more uh, measures of units and, and instead of percentage of dollars that tend to inflate over time. And the education trust fund is a beneficiary of that. So it, mm -hmm. it continues to grow, uh, but uh, the general fund, 1.8 million has been that number ever since I've been there in three years. <laughs> Well, the, when you're talking about earmarking it for uh, the education fund, we are probably just one of two other states in the country. I think there's three of us total, that's correct. It's three total that just earmark money. Well, earmark and split the two budgets. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody else has combined my budget. And, and there's always a move for that and an appetite for that until you get there and then actually face it. And there's a lot of, lot of uh, uh, stakeholders in that decision, mm -hmm. particularly on the education side, that don't want to see that happen. They want to see it. They don't trust government. <laughs> they don't trust government. Huh? So they're afraid that uh, mm -hmm. the future is going to get hurt by taking money away from education. When you're looking at, because we've we've heard it time and time again, and they're even looking at obviously the gambling issue to say that's a source of bringing more money into the budget. But I mean, for the amount of taxpayers that we have in the state, just a little bit of money that each taxpayer is paying, as much as a hundred dollars, could do wonders, couldn't it? Well. Uh, Paying, each taxpayer is paying $100 on what? I'm, I'm not sure. Like you said, in other words, if my income that I'm paying money on, if I write a check to the state right now for, let's just say, $800 for my tax, oh, if it went to $900, no. if everybody, I mean, basically, if it averaged out to was about $100 a person. That could do wonders, couldn't it? Well, it would, yeah, but there, there really is no appetite for tax increases. Well, in I know state. that. I know that. But so, but I mean, you, the, overall, the, the 80 percent of the voters in this state are very, mm -hmm. they, they want to see governments downsized or right-sized. Right. And, and, and we're probably one of the lowest states in the union as far as tax. Actually, we're pretty, we're pretty average on most of the taxes. Where we're lowest is on property taxes, mm -hmm. which is uh, another reason why we have such vibrant, uh, uh, our, our biggest uh, uh, economic engine that we have here is agriculture and timber mm -hmm. and they they drive that argument against higher property taxes yes and, and they should i mean they, they're going to continue to bring their their companies and their business here because of that mm -hmm. and invest here you remove that advantage they'll stop coming so mm -hmm. i mean it it's it's, it's 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 like all economics that when you move one little peg everything else moves too it's right so yeah it's but so you'll have to have the budget passed by 
probably by the end of April because your session ends in May. Yeah, and we yeah we need to have it done for last year. We really, I mean, I was I was pleased that we actually made it a priority last year, and we had the Education Trust Fund done with three or four weeks to spare. Mm -hmm. uh, the it's, the uh, Ways and Means is all. I mean, the General Fund was as always more difficult, so it was it was later. Uh, mm -hmm. But but it got done within the time frame. We weren't stuck with a last minute crisis like we have been in the past. So mm -hmm. it was it was uh, satisfying to watch that happen like it's supposed to happen right. in this last session. Yeah. I'm hoping we can do the same thing this year. What I'm hearing, uh, there's, there's been kind of a. Uh, a, a stabilizing peace reigning for right now that mm -hmm. everybody realizes where we are on revenue. So we've got to make it work within our within the funds we got available to work with. Okay, that's good. I'm going to have you come back next week because we want to look at some specifics, maybe something like some of the gambling things that are sure. being thrown about, and also just take a, a little bit of, of a, a peek at what's happening as far as the prison systems are okay. concerned. That'd okay, that'd be wonderful. And just remember this. When it's the time to visit with your legislator is when they're not in session. When they're in session, they're very busy. They're not in session all year long. If you want to meet them, they're very, very willing to talk to you. Let them know your thoughts, and we'll be right back right after this.